Okay, well, I rarely do the whole news thing, but uh, I thought this was pretty interesting, so I figured I'd bring this little article here. Apparently this happened late last night into Monday morning. Um, just strange weather, and uh, I guess there was a tornado outbreak in Alabama. On January 23rd, 2012, I mean, it's, I mean, they do get tornadoes, but we're not even close to tornado season yet, and uh, apparently this was a pretty, a pretty significant event. <laughs> I beat Extinction Protocol to this one, I think. <laughs> um, nah, I rarely do the news thing anymore, except things that really perk my interest, or that are really, you know, that are very interesting. I mean, we all know about the whole war thing and stuff like that. You know, we all know what's going down with that. You know, but there's still other stuff going on. And, you know, I mean, I barely report on this stuff, but here we go. Latest information on Monday's tornadoes. Severe storms and tornadoes ransacked the south Sunday night into Monday. Destroying homes and claiming lives. The storms have been produced have been producing golf ball size hail and wind gusts greater than 60 miles per hour. There have been 21 tornado reports from the strongest storms. And again, this was uh, yesterday, or today, and Sunday night. In Arkansas, tornadoes were reported in Cleveland, Dallas, Lenoke, Prairie, Arkansas, and Critton, Crittenden, Ark, Overnight, tornadoes were also reported in Chickasaw and Lauderdale, uh, Mississippi, and Dixon, and Tennessee. Dixon, Tennessee. Lauderdale, Mississippi. And Chickasaw, Mississippi. The deadly tornadoes struck Alabama early this morning, including the Tuscaloosa. Alabama area, which is in air, which is an area still cleaning up from a large and devastating tornado that struck in April of 2011. So Tuscaloosa got hit again. Strong winds ripped off, ripped ripped the roof off of a home in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tornadoes touched down in parts of Jefferson County, Alabama, as well. According to local news, at least four people have been killed and others have been injured. In Jefferson, one of the tornadoes destroyed several homes in the Paradise Valley area around 4 a.m. A tornado is believed to have destroyed radio studio and transmission tower near Clanton, Alabama around 8 a.m. Eastern. Multiple trees and power lines were downed by high winds while fences and metal buildings were ripped apart near Millbrook, Alabama around 9 a.m. Eastern. The threat for severe storms and tornadoes diminished by the midday hours on Monday. Well, there you have it. My once in a blue moon news reporting. <laughs> but I thought this was pretty interesting. And, uh, you know, it's just something you don't really see in the middle of winter, even in the south, in places like Arkansas and stuff like that. It's just, it just doesn't really happen that often. So, but that's it. That's all I got for you. Stay safe. God bless, guys. Bye bye.